<laughs> what the fuck? I think I'm alright. <laughs> Are you alright? Uh, what happened? Is it done? Holy shit. <laughs> Oh wow, thank you so much sir, you really are a great wizard! Yes, that's my name, Great Wizard, because of the greatness. <laughs> well thank you again sir, this is really grand, see you soon. You're human again, welcome back. Thank you kitty, this feels great. We did it, okay. I thought I was a monstrosity for a second. Kill me, kill me! <laughs> thought that was gonna be me, so now it has the wand. Gotta, like, pass the wand off. How do I do this? So that one has it now? It does, yeah. It can't be that one. Okay. That goes up here. Nope. Reach it down there. Oh, we got it. That was simple. Now I can go home. Let's do it. Oh, Fran. Here's your wizard, Mr. Or here's your, <laughs> your wand, Mr. Wizard. Here's your wizard, Mr. Wand. Here's your wand, sir. Oh, magnificent, splendid, you did it. Really, but where are the stones? Can I borrow them? I can't lend you the stones. These stones are very, very special. I want to be a monster. What I what I can do is place the stones on the locks of the door for you, but you, you are the only one who can turn the key and actually open the door. Oh, I see. The king told me he would show me where the door is. Then we should go talk to him with you. Uh, we, we should go talk with him, don't you think? <laughs> I can read. Let's go to the castle. Let's go. This is gonna, it's gonna go back to being hell, so get ready. <laughs> That's the wrong way, whoops. Click here. Up to the castle we go. The king should be right here. Everything is fine. Is that Fran? It feels like heaven. What are you? Leave Mr. Midnight alone! Is your head playing with you again? Can't you see yourself in the mirror? I'm not you. I'm not. Let Mr. Midnight go now. We kill the traitors because that's what he is, Fran. Don't you see? My kitty is not a traitor. He promised to be by my side. He promised. As your mommy and daddy did, who promised to take good care of you. Wake up, Fran. You're surrounded by traitors. Leave me alone. Leave my friend alone. I'm the only one you have, Fran. I'm the only one who's always by your side. Let's get rid of this traitor, eh? What do you say? Let's be happy. Let's be so very, very happy together. Go away! Go away! It wasn't me! Okay. Here it is, yeah? Friend, what's wrong? Why are you crying? I'm crazy, sir. I'm totally crazy. The doctors are right. But you're not crazy. I'm very sorry you feel that way. You should be happy now. You found the stones and you became human again. That is a very, uh, that is very great indeed. My dear, let me wipe those tears. I don't want to hurt you, my dear. I feel like I'm about to do it at any moment. You won't, I know that, because you love me. Yes, Kitty, I do love you very much. Fran, remember what I told you. If you love, you are alive. And that is the only thing that matters. You will always find the power to fight those monsters in you. Now let's go and open the gate so you can go home. Yes, yes, let's do this. Oh. This way? Fran. This is the gate? There's a train going by, uh, <laughs> let me close my window. Bum, 
Bum, bum, bum. Here we are. Yes, but where's the door? Oh, right. I have to make it visible. But are you sure you want to go back? I'm sure, sir. Alright, here we go. The human must leave. Open the secret door into her reality. Let the human return home. We're going home, kitty. Oh, -ho! Zyre the King. Good day to you. I brought the stones so this lovely creature can go home. Thank you, sir. I'm very nervous. It'll be strange to be far away from you all. Then don't leave. I can make you a place to stay. A very magical place. Wizard, she has to leave. I received a message from one of the Velokas. And she is not ready. Oh, I see. What are you talking about? Ready for what? Come on, wizard. Place the stones. We have no time to lose. But ready for what? You know, what the Velokas told you about facing your truth. Ah, yes, I think I remember. Well, should I? Yes, go ahead, wizard, sir. Magic stones create the lock that only the human can break. Well, now it's time for Fran to be the key. You are the only one who can open this now. Oh, wow. All right, let's see. Oh, okay, that's easy. Oh. How does this work? No? What? It's gotta be like that, right? Look over there. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, the one that's already been turned. There we go, that's easy. Alright, you the pink, green, blue. <laughs> Colors of the rainbow? It's seven, right? I spell victory! Again! You did it, Fran! You can go home now! I'm so excited! Oh, I wish I could leave you something, so you can remember me. We won't forget you, you are a very special creature. I almost forgot, Palantras gave me this for you. Whoa. Thank you, tell Palantras I wish I could help him with his wounds. I gave my aid patches to a girl in the hospital. But anyway, I'll tell him, and don't worry, Palantras is better now. It's not a pentagram, it was a star. <laughs> Where you go, you must know. Where you return to reality, you will go through the secret woods. The woods are kind of an invisible passage between our realities. And you may encounter terrible creatures that want to eat you. But... Just run, they're quite slow. Are you telling me this now? That sounds very scary. Don't worry, you'll do fine. I, I hope so. Mr. Midnight, let's say goodbye. Let's go now. Goodbye, gentlemen. I had a great time. I I like you very much. Goodbye. Let's go home, Fran. Oh, it's a minigame, okay. Or is that? Uh, am I playing? I gotta jump? Oh, you click! Okay. I didn't know this was a minigame. This is really cool. Looks like the From Where the Wild Things Are book. Reminds me of that. I really jumped too early. The cat jumps way higher than me, I guess. <laughs> oh, damn it. Right as I walk through the door, it's trying to eat me, too. Look at that. Reminds me of the trophy the, uh, through the woods game I played. The holes are hard to jump over. Just click for everything. Oh, the cat just walked off. Harder than it seems, because you got time to jump almost so perfect. Okay. Be like right on the edge before you fall. This is pretty creepy. Doesn't remind me a lot of where the wild things are. 
Even the monster a little bit. The guy didn't even jump? Okay, I made it, I made it. That's tough. Jump is so tight. How is he just walking through it all? What? I guess he's magical or some shit. These jumps are tough, man. This is so tough. You gotta start from the beginning every time? Holy shit, this is actually really hard. It's like a bunch of neatly perfectly timed jumps. In a row, and if you fail, you gotta go all the way back to the start. A lot of them are pretty different too, a lot of the jumps are different. That's like so close to that jump that I just made there, I like almost didn't. Cat is kind of misleading too, it's not even helpful. The cat doesn't jump sometimes when you need to. Like he'll just walk off the rocks, watch. Doesn't even jump. I guess he did there. That hole at the end, it's so big! It's like a it's like double the size of the normal little holes you fall in. It's like twice of these. You know what they say about big holes? They piss me off. <laughs> okay. Focus mode, let's go. I do this shit right now. So the cat doesn't jump there, I need I, I need to. Cat's actually misleading. I must think it's trying to be, but it is. Okay, we're close to that bullshit again. Oh, we made it! Oh, that was the that was the bigger, the bigger one. A troll the run and she's been unlocked. Okay, chapter four. So we just finished chapter three up. My imaginary friend. That was that was pretty tough. It was the toughest video game, I'm pretty sure. My pills. My goodness, the door opened. Wow, interesting. Come on, Mr. Midnight, let's find out where we are. What if I don't click on it? Ran up, we find home soon. I'm starving. Mr. Midnight, look, I think we're at the other side of the bridge. You remember the one we tried to cross before we fell into a thirsta? Yes, I remember. Great, let's keep on going, Kitty. We have to be careful now. If I don't touch that, huh? Have to. Obviously a trick. Are these my pills? Wow, but where are they going? <laughs> They're on a rope, friend. I know you're smarter than that. Wait, can you go? You can go back? Look at the edge. Boots are quite dirty. I have to clean them when I get home. That's where we fell. There's a bunch of Moonlight, too. Moonlight is shine, it's very romantic. <laughs> Home. <laughs> this isn't questionable at all. Delicious berries. What's this tree? Hmm? What are you doing here? She looks perfectly put a little treehouse on. How lovely. <laughs> oh, my guest home is in that direction. Oh, okay. Pills, don't move. You want to show me the way back home? God. How can Fran fall for this? She's so clever. She solved all these puzzles so far. Okay. Oh no! I shouldn't have touched the pills. Bad, Fran. Bad, bad. Cut my way out. That's the knife I cut my own hand with, too. It's my own blood. It's part of that ritual I had to do. Oh, uh, I know this guy. We heard his name. It word, right? Fran, you're already here. Well, I wasn't expecting you until 2.35. And as I see it, you are not trapped anymore. Interesting. Anyway, let me introduce myself. I'm It word, your faithful friend. He helped me before. He unlocked that, uh... I think he's a good guy. He unlocked that window back at the house when those twin-headed girls trapped me. It were, do I know you from somewhere? You seem familiar. Yes, I am a creature of the night. We've been playing together. I helped you to get Mr. Midnight back, you see? Really? Huh, I think I managed quite well to find my kitty on my own. Hey, aren't you the one that made the sisters mad? No, it wasn't me making the sisters mad. They believed it was me. You see, 
but that's because they never looked into themselves. What do you mean by they never looked into themselves? They blamed me instead of facing the fact that their parents never loved them. But let's stop talking about the sisters, shall we? Do you recognize me, Fran? The long man with the top hat. I always came by night and told you stories when you were just a little baby. I came to you after you imagined me. But I'm not imaginary, you see. I'm part of your reality. Did I imagine you? You look quite familiar. Yes, I can't deny that. I exist because you exist. The truth is that you were able to imagine me because I already existed. Anyway, we don't have time to talk about this right now. Actually, I'm here to take you home. Follow me. Take me home? I can't let you do that. I don't know you. I won't hurt you. I'm not made out of darkness. I'm your friend. You look pretty creepy. Alright, you seem nice. I'll go with you, but I won't trust you yet. That's fine. Come on now. I'll have to show you something. It would. The cool name. Spooky, scary skeletons. Got these berries. What's this hole in this tree? That's pretty suspicious, man. What is this? Behold, the Itwood flying machine! What do you think? I love it! It has many buttons to push! Yes, with a gorgeous piece of machinery, I'll take you home. We'll fly as soon as I fix the details. Besides, it's not 235 yet. That sounds great, but what is, what is it about 235, sir? I don't understand. It's when time becomes slower, and that gives us a chance, uh, gives us a chance to enter the ultra reality. Inside the ultra reality, we can travel wherever we want to go. Right now, we are standing on the endless limits of the second reality. But you are part of the third reality, do you understand? Yes, I do understand. It sounds insane. <laughs> it word is uh, trying to help me, he says. He, he helped me before, so I think he's a good guy. But sir, I, I uh, should I just wait until you are done fixing the machine? Wait, of course not. You can help by getting water and fire berries, alright? Alright. It's better than doing nothing at all, I guess. Great, here's my amazing handmade bucket for the water. I made it myself. It's a pretty nice bucket. Ah, and the fire berries. You'll realize which berries to pick because of the fire. <laughs> alright, but sir, can I just ask, why do you need the berries in the water? Ah, uh, well the berries are incredibly good fuel. It lasts many, many hours. And the water is to get rid of the dirt. The Kamalas! Oh, the Kamalas, I see. They don't come around flying... Oh, I hope they don't come around the flying machine. We never know, but we do know that they don't like water, yes? Oh, darling, I almost forgot. Your medicine, you need it. Some things are still invisible to your eyes, you see. Here. Invisible to my eyes. Hmm, I see. Well, thank you. I was trying to catch the pills earlier, but the trap caught me first. Oh, yes, about that. I'm sorry. I need to get your attention somehow. It's okay, sir. I defeated the trap in, like, one second! <laughs> oh, Fran, I love you so much. <laughs> I'll fucking wreck that trap. <laughs> anyway, I'll go get the fire berries in the water, I'll be right back. Great, I'll be preparing the machine. So it's backwards, huh? I probably have to go into the other dimension. I don't see any fire. The bucket for water. <laughs> Okay. I think I have to, but let's look. I can't reach the water from here. I have to get the rope that he had, right? Also, yeah, I said I would read a little bit of this book as we go along, so... Uh, last night after the storm, a huge creature visited my garden for a few seconds and then disappeared. This is Palancha, the doctor. I found a strange bottle with a pink liquid inside in the same spot the creature landed. I can't fully understand the contents of the bottle. I have found red blood cells in it and bacteria not yet recognized. Bacteria seems to get rid of unusual behaviors in any kind of living creatures. I poured some of the pink liquid on a dying plant and it bloomed after a few minutes. I cut my finger to test the fluid with human tissue and it cured it after a few seconds. This bacteria may work as platelets and white blood cells but at a very high speed. Don't want to see the pills again, yeah. <laughs> I dream of thousands of black cats surrounding my house, big yellow eyes staring at my sleep. 
Ithursta, this is where we just left. Beings in Ithursta are varied, from roots to giant insects. Roots are the first in this reality. Insects came later. I learned their language and numerology. One more page. This is their language. Oh, we could actually have deciphered some stuff back there. The Great Velokas is the beginning of the first reality. Primeve Light. The Veloka's body structure is quite different from ours. They are made out of photons and sound waves. They are also both male and female. When the youngsters reach age 299,800... Oh no, 299 million? 800,000? They are crowned with a shield. So only the oldest ones get these? Holy crap. Zyra, creation of the great Velokas, king of Athirsta, second reality life. That was the king that helped me. That's Palantras. Uh, beings in Athirsta. Oh, being in Athirsta feels like becoming what you can't understand on Earth. It's where leaves sing while falling off the tree, and the water whispers its wisdom while you drink it. Pandora, creation of the five realms of essential existence. Free. Resides in the human world. Third reality. Earth, Mars, and Jupiter. Consciousness, practice of will. I don't understand this. Human world, third reality. So, the entrance to the other worlds is an Earth? Center, say, D. Center seed? S said CD? Right. The end of vibration. When both ends of the opposite are the same degree. Reside in the third and fourth reality. Death. Okay. I'll read this one. Mabuka is the end of light. That's the guy fucking chasing me. Okay, we'll stop at this next page. That was like five words. Read this next. Okay. Can we get that rope that he trapped me with? Where'd it go? I guess it's not there anymore. Okay, where we go. So much hair and so shiny. I feel like I'm in a magical world of hair. They cut the hair? Negative, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Get out! Get out! You are trespassing on my territory! She said I've been scared. Excuse me, I thought you were dead. Oh, this guy is talking? How could he possibly think that? You have no manners, young lady. I'm very sorry, but you seem to be all rotten and bloody. Me? Rotten and bloody? I think you are misunderstanding the situation. Why do you say that, Mr. Moose? Mr. Moose? But I'm not a moose, I'm a deedle worm. A deadly worm? Excuse me, a deadly worm? No, no, not a deadly worm, a deedle worm. I don't go around killing creatures. I just give back to the soil what creatures took from it and I don't need any more. I only see a talking moose. Where are you? Down here, creature. Can't you see me? Oh, there you are. You are so tiny. Hello, my name is Fran. Hello, Fran. Can I ask, why did you touch the moose in the first place? Normally, only scavengers will touch dead animals. Are you one? Of course not. I was trying to see if I could climb it to reach the fireberries. I see. I think it is possible. The moose is still very sturdy and solid. But the fire berries are on fire. You can hurt yourself. Yes, I see the fire. But I have to take them somehow. The door to hell is over here, by the way. Yeah, I didn't see that, Nicole. <laughs> Good luck with that. Climb on now. I'll keep working. Thank you, sir. How do I grab them? They're on fire. They're on fire. Does that have to get the water then put the fireberries out? Let's get down. Okay. I feel like I'm in a magical world of hair. These things again. Hello, are you those shiny insects that get stuck on trees because of curiosity? We usually get stuck, yes. How did you know this? You are not one of us. I met some of your kind before. I helped them get free from curiosity. Ah, that is very nice of you. Curiosity can lead to unexpected situation uh, situations. Yes, I think curiosity uh, curiosity is a good thing, but are you stuck? Not at all. We're just trying to make our hair the longest hair ever. Wow, that sounds amazing. Good luck. I have to go now. Bye. So how did we get the berries? Ew! 
Ew, I look completely deformed. Am I nutritious? I bet I am. Tasty flesh. <laughs> Tasty fresh flesh. Jesus.